What's going on guys? My name is Steven and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be going over the 2017 Dell XPS 15 9560 model laptop. We're going to be doing a quick unboxing of this laptop as well as a basic overview. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the laptop is in a fairly slim outer box with some thick foam covering the inner box for protection. Also in the box, we've got your power bank with power cord. So I have here the 130 watt charger. This is the model that comes with the 97 watt hour battery, which is the model I selected. Now that we've got all the extras unpackaged, let's go ahead and jump into the actual laptop. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this top cover. And there we have the nice clamshell design, aluminum outer body. So I'll go ahead and pull this out. Set it off to the side. Looks like we've got a XPS 15 quick start guide and some warranty documentation. Doesn't appear that there's anything else inside the box. So let's move on to the actual laptop. All right, starting from the left of the laptop, we've got a power connector, standard USB connector, HDMI output, Thunderbolt connector, and headphone jack. Now moving over to the right side, we've got an SD card reader, another standard USB port, a power level indicator, and a security lock input. All right, and just like the previous model, it does have this battery indicator feature, which is awesome, I think, just a quick way to check your battery life. As you can see, we are at full battery life. All right, flipping over to the underside, you can see plenty of ventilation. You got some speaker ports right here and here. And then you got the XPS cover, which has some serial number and manufacturing information underneath. It's just a magnetic cover that flips up like so. All right, flipping back over, we'll go ahead and open it up and check it out. Unfortunately, it does not have a one hand lift design like the MacBook, but it's not too bad. Inside, you'll see the carbon fiber interior and the beautiful Infinity Edge display. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and boot it up. All right, so let's boot it up. I'm gonna go ahead and get through these introduction screens and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with this. I gotta say, initial impressions, I really like the touchpad. It's got a nice clicky feedback, and it feels much like a MacBook touchpad, except it has a slightly grippy texture. The keyboard feels like any other standard keyboard on a laptop. On this model, they haven't changed the webcam placement. It's right here. And this model does not have the fingerprint reader. Uh, it's supposed to roll out in, I guess, February as an option to add, but it was not important to me, so I didn't bother with it. Alright, so we had to get through quite a few screens. I guess just the initial loading takes a little bit. But now we're set up and we're to the home screen of Windows 10. Alright, so just a couple things they updated on here. Uh, this is the version with the i7 quad core, just for reference. And in this lineup, they installed the new KB Lake processors. So I'm excited for the efficiency on those. Additionally, we have 16 gigs of RAM in this model and a 512 gigabyte solid state drive. Also new to this model is the GeForce GTX 1050 with four gigabytes of RAM. Now I went with the 1080p display because I wanted battery life efficiency as opposed to a touchscreen. I really had no need for a touchscreen and I just wanted the upgraded battery life and that coupled with the 1080p screen is gonna give me awesome battery performance out of this. 
All right, so I just wanted to show you guys the webcam of this. Uh, although the placement is low, just like the previous model, I really don't see it to be much of an issue. I've got, uh, I'm just about a couple feet away and I'm not having any problems with this angle or the clarity at all. Overall, the quality is not bad. It's a 720p camera and that's really suitable for all my needs. So I downloaded a program called Geekbench 4. I'm just gonna run a quick, this is a free trial version of the CPU benchmark test. See what our results are. The benchmark is complete and the single core score is 4,435 and a multi-core score of 13,886. So I'm not exactly sure how those compare to other i7 processors, but I'll be sure to check that out online. Next up, I'm gonna be running the compute benchmark and see how it performs. Test is all done. And that was actually a benchmark for the graphics card. And I had selected the integrated graphics card. That gave me a score of 21,551. So I'll go ahead and run again with the GeForce GTX 1050 with the four gigs of video RAM. So I have the GTX 1050 all selected and I'll go ahead and run this. That's complete and this has a score of 65,956. And this is on the OpenCL benchmark scoring system. Again, I'm not sure how these numbers compare to other GPUs, but I'll go ahead and check that out online. I'm really enjoying this touchpad. Uh, you can do a couple cool little gestures. You can swipe three fingers down to view your desktop, three fingers back up to select that recent app, and then three fingers up again to switch between apps. Additionally, you can tap the three fingers to pull up Cortana. You can right click by simply tapping two fingers as that. And keep in mind, when I say tap, I'm not actually clicking the touchpad, I'm just tapping. And then zoom works just as great. Two finger scrolling is also a breeze. I'm just doing a quick speaker test and I gotta say, they sound great. I'm not sure what volume I'm at right now, but Oh wow, what was that like 75? Sorry, I gotta give a huge thanks they to get pretty loud. And scooterworks.com for providing. I gotta say, that is something about the MacBook I didn't like. It didn't get quite as loud as I wanted it to, but they were clear. These ones are clear and they get really loud. Shout out to Modinosity, this guy's awesome. Uh, I've been watching his Honda Ruckus build series and he actually just got done with his build. So huge thanks, check him out, and let's take a look at the build. Start out, I swapped in the 150cc. Before we get started, I gotta give a huge thanks to the... So just to give you guys an idea of the battery, I'm at about 84% with max brightness up and I'm just watching videos on YouTube. Uh, it gives me an estimated six hours and 21 minutes remaining doing these actions. That is awesome. Um, it's definitely excited to see what the battery life's gonna be at full charge and actual full load. I tend to browse full brightness so I just wanted to make sure I'd get a laptop with a large enough battery to accommodate those needs. So I would definitely recommend the 97 watt hour battery option. Overall, I'm very pleased with my initial impressions of the XPX 159560. Based on these initial impressions, I would recommend it as a laptop for anybody looking for an alternative for a MacBook Pro. Now I do own a 2015 model MacBook Pro and I was just looking to switch over to a Windows laptop as I do have a Windows desktop. The build quality is definitely on par with the MacBook Pro. The Infinity Edge display is just a beautiful innovation that I think should be standard on most laptops now. And it was unfortunate that they didn't include that on the new model MacBook Pros. Again, like I mentioned earlier, if you're interested in the fingerprint reader, be sure to check out Dell's website to see when that option will become available for you. All right guys, that's it for this unboxing and overview of the Dell XPS 9560 2017 model laptop. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like on it and hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more like this. And that's all I got for you guys. Have a nice day.